What's good, fam? My name Uncut, and I'm addicted to fighting the air. I'm 28 years old. I'm from the west side of Atlanta, Georgia. Like, my addiction really started, hold on, west side, the best side, you know that. But anyways, like, my addiction really started when I was in middle school. I used to watch a lot of anime and a lot of WWE and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's go. Get this one, man. I tried going to therapy, but you know what I'm saying? They end up banning your boy from every therapy session, the air therapy location out here in Atlanta. Cause one time I had made a mistake and punched the baby while I was fighting the air. I made a mistake and ended up punching the baby. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm always ready to fight. Like I even tried joining the UFC and MMA, but I can't seem to keep a contract cause I just keep fighting in public. You know what I'm saying? Like even if I'm fighting the air, my once I get under that contract, my hands register and it's just really hard to like not fight the air in public. You know what I'm saying? So I just keep, keep losing my contracts. All my kids in middle school now, and you know what I'm saying? They know about my condition, but they don't really like going out in public with me cause they be getting embarrassed. My bad, my bad, bro. My bad. Fighting really dangerous nowadays, like especially on the west side of Atlanta, cause like everybody toting guns now, but I don't really be worried about it cause my fists, they like bullets, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta watch out what I be doing when I be going out in public, like when I'm outside in the streets for real. What clothes I'm wearing today, man? <laughs> bro, what are you doing? Why are you watching me, bro? To be honest, I really think the main reason why I'm so addicted to fighting because it keeps me in shape. Like, I look good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always, I'm always. My bad. Yeah, it just, it just keep me in shape for real. Like for example, bro, if I'm warming up a high calorie, high carb meal, you know what I'm saying? Like I tend to just get a quick little workout in, start fighting the air, you know what I'm saying? Like a good little workout before I digest them high calories and carbs, always good. Like even when I'm outside walking, I be feeling like Rocky Balboa, the, the next Mike Tyson on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like quick little punch in the air while I'm walking. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I be sleep. You know when you be sleep, you don't really get that much activity in. So like, I be having dreams of me fighting the air and shit. Like, and I wake up and I just be feeling in shape. Like, for real, for real. Like, all the way in shape. So, you know what I'm saying? Middle school and high school was kind of difficult for me. You feel what I'm saying? Cause like. I used to always get into altercations with the principal, with the teachers, with the students, and they always just call my dad up and like, my dad already explained my condition to them, so it kind of sad how they really just be treating me. And it's just hard to stay in school because like, I'll always be ready to fight, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I ain't even be trying to fight nobody all the time. Like, I just be, I be with it, you know what I'm saying? So it's just really, really hard for me to be in school. I just really love watching anime and WWE, like even to this day, like, to this day, I still be watching anime and WWE. I just love it too much. Yeah, man. <laughs> that boy uncut something else, man. He's a lot older now, so he's definitely, I don't know if he's grown out of it, but you know what I'm saying? Because he's, 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 he's a grown man now, so I'm hardly ever around him. But I can tell you about this one time. We was at the grocery store, and you know, I always thought he was a little messed up in the head or maybe a little autistic, but my wife, you know, she tends to think otherwise. So. She, want, she wanted me to give him a chance. I ended up taking him to the grocery store one time and he ended up fighting the air next to this dude that was two times our size put together. And the dude really didn't understand what was going on. I tried to explain to him my son's condition and he just really wasn't going for it. He was just waiting for me to, you know, actually jump in and 
start fighting him or rob him, whatever he thought my son was trying to do. And that wasn't the case, but I ended up getting beat up. And my son, he just ended up, you know, not getting beat up because he was a child at the time. And I really don't care to show my face at another grocery store out here, to be honest. So, but now his kids got to deal with that. I had to deal with that when he was my child. And now his kids have to deal with that. So good luck to him, you know, but hopefully he really, really grows up out of it or when he gets old, you know, when he gets really old, his bones probably not gonna move the same. So I think when he gets really old, that's when he'll probably grow out of it when he actually can't, you know, fight the air anymore. Can I say something real quick? I just wanna say something to the camera real quick. Like, hey, anybody out there that's dealing with the same condition as me, if you really like fighting the air or you just like really, you really, really like watching anime or WWE, hit me up. Like. We can go to a park somewhere around the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the west side, the best side, but we can go to a park around the way and really just get it in. Like, I know we all got different moves. This is probably something you could teach me and I can teach you and we can just help each other out. And you know what I'm saying? Like really get it in. All my social medias is down in the description box below. You gonna put them in there, right? Yeah, all my, all my social medias down in the description box below. So like, really just get at me, bro. Just get at me. Get them in, we get them gone, you know that's strong, be my cologne I'm at the ocean with my 